Welcome back to AM Buffalo. We are still here at North Tonawanda High School, and I'm just going to say this segment, we're freezing for a reason. Freezing for a reason, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right, so we have Ava and Ariana with us. Hello, ladies. Hi. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the reason why you're here. Let's talk about Unified and YAC. What does YAC stand for? It stands for Youth Activation Committee. And what is the Youth Activation Committee? Um, we are trying to raise awareness for the Special Olympics and for the unified sports so that way everyone has a fair chance to be involved and included and an opportunity to play. Oh, that is so awesome. And what does that mean to you ladies to be so inclusive? Because reading your shirt, it says Inclusion Revolution. What does that mean to be a part of an organization that is bigger than yourself, something bigger than yourselves? It means giving everyone a chance to be involved and do something that they love and like and have a chance to just go out and have fun. Yeah, yeah. And Erica, we uh, brought Ava on. She's one of the young ladies for a reason. Tell us why. Ava has raised over $6,000 by herself, sponsoring 12 local Special Olympic athletes. So what she is doing, being a part of the inclusion revolution, it's something bigger than her. She's able to inspire the middle schoolers, the elementary kids, to get involved, to get more people. She's giving those athletes that opportunity to play. So Ava, I have to ask, how did you raise $6,000? Or it's actually a little over $6,000, but how have you raised that? Um, so I went door to door and I asked my neighbors. I, um, My mom's a receptionist and my dad works in the construction industry. So I would um, message their friends and get their contacts from work. I would explain a little bit about unified sports, asking them to consider donating. And I'd send them the link and ask them to check it out. How cool is that? So she had a script. She was making calls. She was going door to door. <laughs> you ladies, and we actually have a nice little crew. If Joel wants to go in there, they are freezing for real. They are freezing for a reason. And uh, speaking, Ariana, how important is it to you that schools are involved? If you were to speak to, if you were to, <laughs> they're yelling freezing for a reason. I love it. Ariana, if you were to able to speak to any of any of the other schools that are not currently a part of this program and tell them reasons why they should be a part, give them a couple of reasons why they should be a part. Um, I'd say a couple reasons would be um, just to make sure everyone's included. It's a lot of fun. You get to do a lot of things like the polar plunge for one. There's things like the May Mile that we do. And um, I just think, yeah, it's a lot of fun. You just get to do activities. Oh, I love it. And, and Erica, I have to ask you, um, new schools are welcome, correct? Absolutely. So we are all about getting more people involved and getting more schools out here. So you can go to polarplungeny.org backslash buffalo to get involved. And it's not just for schools. Let's get everybody involved. Let's be freezing for a reason. Oh, well, they're in the freezer eating ice cream or popsicles. Got to train somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your Q community to get involved. More schools are welcome. You're in 50 schools, but welcome the other schools one more time. Absolutely. Come on out. Come to the Polar Plunge December 2nd, December 3rd. We're going to be at Woodlawn Beach State Park. Come be freezing for a reason. Oh, come be freezing for a reason, Emily. I am thinking about it, but I will try to get my kids definitely to freeze for a reason. <laughs> They can handle it, they're young. I love that that school is going all out, right? Popsicles in the freezer, go big or go home. Oh, I hope you all had a wonderful day with us this morning. I know I did. It's great to be back in the chair and I hope you all have a fantastic day. We'll see you tomorrow.